Hey guys, good morning. We are heading, I am still like in my pajamas. Creed is in his pajamas. We're heading though to go pick up my mother-in-law who had to drop off a truck to get like the oil change or something, I don't know. But yeah, so we just like ran out the house. I always, in these situations, I'm like, oh my gosh, please don't get in an accident or anything because you look like a mess. And if you have to get out of the vehicle or whatever, people are gonna judge you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you are so silly. Do you know that you're the silliest boy? <laughs> you can get some of those. So we got home from lunch and now we had a sweet tooth. So we're eating some of these dang coconut chips for dessert. They're so good. Oh, yeah, you're going to do a good job. Get him in yourself. So, now he's about to go down for a nap. And then I got to, I need to check on my video, actually, while we're, while we're in here. Let's just see here. Because I had to upload it again because I tried to last night and, yeah, it was not there. I mean, it said it was upload fail. Please, what is happening? And this is so frustrating because it takes me, I don't know, uh, my videos take like five hours to upload from my computer to YouTube. So I don't understand why they take so long, number one, and number two, why they don't upload. Support, assist, new notifications. No, I don't care about you. Okay, I turned around for two seconds and he has spilled the whole bag of these on the floor. Oh yes, thank you. You want to put them in the bag now? Okay. Oh my gosh. This is mom life, if you're wondering, constantly picking up messes. Right, Creed. That's what I get for leaving it there, though. Really, it's all my fault. Anytime there's, like, an accident, like the DIY accident, anything that happens that is not, like, planned, it is typically my fault because I have let the opportunity arise. Like, when you let a baby be in the presence of a snack, a bag of snacks, that is open and shakeable, they're gonna shake it and then they're gonna spill it everywhere. So, can't really blame him, can you? Hi, Creed. Nope. Say nope. So, you were practically begging me to do it. Oh, thank you. That was so sweet, babe. Let's get the vacuum out. Dang it. I hate vacuuming. Like, I hate vacuuming probably more than anything. Babe, you see. What are you doing? Hey, babe. No, no. What are you doing? Look at him. No, what are you doing? He's he's hanging off the things in our door. No, babe. You can't do that. No, no. No, no, no. Yeah, come on. Let's make good decisions today. Okay? No. No, no. Don't pull on that. Oh, gosh. It is nap time. Creed, you're lucky you're cute, boy. You are lucky you're cute. Okay, so I just got Creed down for his nap after I stopped filming that last little clip after he was like being a wackadoodle pulling on the door. He actually really like yanked at it and kind of just like in a like kind of a mean little way. He knew what he was doing was inappropriate and he still did it anyways. And then once so I removed him from the situation, we put him in the living room and he had a complete total meltdown you know throw themselves on the floor like flailing back screaming bloody murder like stomping his feet a complete meltdown and so you know it got me kind of thinking and i wanted to just pop on here and say a couple things you know social media i think is an amazing outlet to like um you know meet new people and develop relationships um especially within like myself with the mom community and with other women that are going through some similar things as me or you know can relate to some of the things I go through every day as a stay-at-home mom and I also think it can be kind of detrimental because sometimes I think that we forget that people you know are living a real life like when this camera turns off there is still life happening same with you know Instagram anything when that photo isn't being 
put on Instagram, there is a real life happening. And so while that photo or a video or whatever may look like sunshine, daisies, rainbows, whatever, there are always going to be hard times. And there are always going to be those days that you struggle, especially, you know, um, I'm sure when you have multiple kids, it becomes a little bit more challenging and some days can be really hard. But I just wanted to say, you know, I want to make it like, I don't know, my goal to show my real life and our real life and, you know, that other side of motherhood that, you know, sometimes isn't the best and sometimes, you know, you get pooped on or your, your baby throws a whole bag of snacks on the ground and you have to vacuum it up. You know, I mean, it's not all going to be playing out in the pool and splashing and laughing and those days are amazing and I love them and they happen very frequently, but there are days like today after nap time or before nap time rather that are hard. I always like to show kind of, you know, the not so glamorous side of life sometimes, you know, like in messy bun and sweats and no makeup and whatever and little crazy dogs. I like to show everything. And so I really hope that, um, you know, if you're having a tough day, you know that you're not alone and that someone out there is also having a tough day and they can totally relate to you. And, you know, maybe this could be a place that we could talk about it and, you know, vent a little bit instead of like balling up inside or trying to pretend that life is something that it's not. Because, you know, I mean, life is good most of the time. 99% of the time, I would say we have great days, but there is that 1%. And so if you're having a 1% day, just, just know, you know, you aren't alone in it. And somewhere out there, there's someone else having a rough day too. All right, Melby. Melby's like, I'm having a rough day. I didn't get a treat yet. So someone woke up from his nap and he wasn't very thrilled about it. He was crying. But now we're outside playing and he's okay. Look at your little chin. Hi. What you doing? Oh, is Tony trying to eat your blackberry? Okay guys, so um, while I was cooking dinner and then just shortly after I realized I was like really hot and sweating and so I went to check like what the thermostat was set on and it's not even on. Like, the like, let me show you. So you see that? That little screen? Okay, so usually this has numbers like the outside temperature and then what it's like inside. But look. Like, it's not doing anything. And I don't know how to fix it. Jesse isn't going to be home for a little bit, so I don't know. Creed was acting so tired, so I put him in to go take a nap, but he is like, now he's really mad. So I'll probably go get him up again. But Oh, there we go. Look. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe the batteries are dead. You suppose? Hmm, that could be a problem. Let me, let me change the batteries. Okay, so I haven't got Creed up yet, so don't mind him. He is... I don't know what his situation is, but I got the batteries out and I'm putting these new ones in. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So I wonder if since this wasn't working, like this, ther yeah, now the AC is kicking on. Look, it's 78 in our house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just fixed that by myself. Jesse, are you watching this? I just fixed this all by myself. Oh my gosh. I feel like such a problem solver right now. Like, I never know what to do, and I didn't even call him. I didn't even call Jesse to ask him what to do. I just did it on my own. Like, I just, wow. I'm so impressed with myself. Guys, do you ever have those just, like, small victories, and you're like, oh my gosh, I am not a total idiot. <sighs> he is, like, burning alive, so I'm sure that's part of his problem. Is that part of your problem, is you're just so hot? Yeah, he is, like, his little body. And look how tired he is, guys. Ugh. But he won't just nap. Like, earlier this afternoon, he took a really short nap. This morning, he took a short nap. I don't know what it is. Like, if I was a baby, I would sleep all the time. All the time. You you could, like, not pay me enough to take a nap. And now look at it, yeah. Creed, someday you will regret this. You will regret not taking a nap. I still have to do laundry. Ugh. He's like, well, I don't today, Mom. So that's all that matters. YOLO. <coughs> yeah, but I know. What a day, guys. What a day. Oh, 
Creed, what you need, buddy? Are you hungry? Eat. He didn't eat very much of that dinner. Are oh, you want a snack? You want to eat it? Oops, uh oh. He said, please. Please, good job, babe. Here you go. Yeah, see, that's going to be okay. See, it feels nice. This air coming out, huh, bud? Yeah. Wow, I cannot believe it was 78 in here. That's like. I mean, I know it's probably hotter some places, like in California, like in their houses, if they don't have AC, I'm sure that sucks. But I'm not, we're not used to that here. Like we usually have our thermostat set on like 72. So, and I know some people have it even cooler than that. Like back in the day when it was just Jesse and I know baby, I think Jesse had it set on like 69. So it was always like nice and cool in here. But yeah, oops, get that away. He has my curtain on my stuff. But yeah, so. 78 is little steamy, huh, bud? <laughs> I look at him now. It's like instant gratification with the snacks. Okay, guys, seriously, you aren't even gonna believe this. Um, if we weren't already having a day, Creed, yeah, look at him, soaking wet. Oh, what did you do? Did you stub your little toe? I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, see, he's soaking wet. Um, that's because he fell into his pool backwards. So usually he knows how to, what's wrong, bud? Here, do you want this? Usually he knows how to crawl in head first and not like, he like crawls in one leg, the other leg, one hand, the other hand, whatever, and he does fine. But today he tried to sit backwards like you're sitting in a seat. And when he fell back, he fell into the water like really soft, like, okay, bud, let me change him. I'll tell you the rest of the story. Anyway, so back to the story, um, he went in, like he had sat down and I was over there. So like I was standing right here watching him. So thank God I was because otherwise he would have drowned because when he fell back, he couldn't like get himself pulled back up. And the water was like right here, but it kept splashing in his face cause he was panicked. And it was so scary. He was freaking out, I was freaking out. I got him out really fast though. And he didn't like choke or anything like that. So that was good considering, but my gosh. I think I'm just ready for it to be Friday, honestly, and ready for this day to be over. Cause I just don't know how much I can handle. His like, here's his onesie, completely soaking wet. Gosh, that was literally like the panic in his eyes. I can't believe I didn't panic more, but I think I was just like, so just like, I don't know, maybe like mom instinct or something. I just like grabbed him and he was out. So yeah, thank God I was sitting right there. And watching like really close <laughs> I guess moral to the story don't ever leave your child unattended with a pool in the yard because it doesn't take much water for them to drown well guys we made it through today it's almost bedtime grandma just left and we are going to get our Jimmy done and go night night he thinks he's gonna go back outside but we're not darn it Anyways, we are going to get our jimmies on and go to bed. Can you say night night? <laughs> bye. <laughs> say bye, Creed. What's this lady doing? Creed, where is your grandmother? Oh my gosh. You know the other day I was talking about how my husband's a chatty Kathy and I'm always like waiting on him? I wonder where he gets it. His mom and dad. Do you think I needed a shower? <laughs> well, that's what you get for making us late. I think something's on the lens. I just, I don't know. How do you know? This is the hardest like thought process I go through every day. Oh my gosh, that's so shaky, I'm sorry. My mother-in-law texts me, she's like, how about you come get me at a quarter till? And it is now 10.54. So, we're doing real great here, aren't we? He's like, mom, shut up. Who are you talking to? It's not me, just go away. I don't have RBF, I just, it's so sunny out. Oh, so much better. Got hair in my mouth. <laughs> This is, I'm being so random today, wow. Where did you find that tape? Hashtag, send help. Cuddle some puppies? That always helps, huh, Melvin? I didn't get a treat, oh, bud. <laughs>